What's up everybody? Welcome to Mixed Marvel Arts, your go-to channel for all things MMA and comic books. Today we'll be reviewing issue number 5 of The Amazing Spider-Man. Last issue we saw the first appearance of Betty Brandt and Peter cancel his date with Liz Allen to go after the Sandman, only to defeat the Sandman during school and then lose out on his opportunity to date Liz. In this issue, we'll see Spider-Man go face to face with Doctor Doom, the arch enemy of the Fantastic Four. Let's get started. As always, the issue opens with a full page layout by Steve Ditko. There's also a list of characters who will be featured in the story, which includes Betty Brandt. She's going to become a major character in the coming issues. But to kick off this story, we see Peter and his classmates disagreeing over Spider-Man. Everyone is a fan of him, including Liz, but Peter expresses doubt over Spider-Man's true intentions in order to protect his secret identity. As a result, Flash, who's a big fan of Spider-Man, tells Peter to get lost, and Peter begins planning his revenge on Flash, which is really interesting because despite being a superhero, Peter feels a strong resentment towards him. Then the story shifts over to Doctor Doom, who sends an anonymous message to Spider-Man. Unknown to Peter, Doctor Doom wants to partner with him in order to defeat the Fantastic Four. Spider-Man arrives at Doctor Doom's lair, and Doom tries convincing Spider-Man to join forces with him. And although Spider-Man admits the offer is interesting, he turns Doctor Doom down and tries to web him. Yet Doctor Doom was prepared for this, and he begins using his tricks on Spider-Man. First, he uses a robot to impersonate himself, which tricks Spider-Man. Then he opens a trap door beneath Spider-Man and shoots his mini finger gun, which was on his glove, at Spider-Man. Spidey is forced to run and Doctor Doom sets out to determine Spider-Man's real identity in order to kidnap him as bait for the Fantastic Four to fall into his master plan. So Spidey shoots a few pictures of the crime scene to sell to J. Jonah Jameson. And at the Daily Bugle the following day, Betty Brandt and Peter start to develop a liking for one another. But the story shifts back to Peter's classmates, who are planning a prank on Peter. Flash Thompson dresses up as Spider-Man in order to surprise Peter, who obviously wouldn't be surprised at all because he's the real Spider-Man. But at the same time, Doctor Doom uses a device to track down Spider-Man. So he kidnaps Flash, who is the obvious choice since he's wearing an actual Spider-Man costume. Unknown to Doctor Doom, the real Spider-Man, Peter, was right around the corner. So he was actually that close to figuring out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Then Doctor Doom broadcasts a public message to the Fantastic Four, informing them that he's captured Spider-Man. And Peter sees this message on TV too. Then Liz Allen calls Peter to tell him that Flash was wearing a Spider-Man costume to prank someone and he hasn't been seen since. Peter puts two and two together that Flash was trying to prank him, and he tells Liz there's nothing he can do about it. The crazy part is, Peter doesn't even intend to help Flash, but then the good in Peter takes over and he realizes he has to save Flash. He turns the power off in his house as an excuse to go out and buy new lights because Aunt May initially wouldn't let him go out. Peter swings around the city to try and find Doctor Doom, as the Fantastic Four debate their planned course of action. Spider-Man crawls through an air vent into Doom's base and catches him completely off guard. Remember, Doctor Doom thought he had Spider-Man kidnapped inside. So Spider-Man starts defending himself against Doctor Doom, who uses all the technology at his disposal to defeat Spider-Man. One interesting thing about Doctor Doom's attacks I thought they were actually intended to be used against the Fantastic Four. As you can see, he drops liquid on Spider-Man, which immediately freezes into ice, and that would have been a great way to defeat the Human Torch. But Spider-Man manages to use his agility to evade the first few traps Doctor Doom sets for him, until he steps on an electrified portion of the floor. But Spider-Man saves himself by shooting a web at Doctor Doom, which electrocutes Doom himself, so he turns off the power. And with the electricity powered off, Doctor Doom then sends another robot at Spider-Man to restrain him, and simultaneously, he shoots a laser beam at Spider-Man. But Spider-Man escapes at the last minute and heads for the control panel to turn the laser off. But before he can get there, 
Doctor Doom engages with Spider-Man and we finally see them go into hand-to-hand -hand combat against one another. Surprisingly, Doctor Doom nearly defeats Spider-Man with ease. But in the middle of their fight, the Fantastic Four finally arrive. Feeling incapable to fight the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man at the same time, Doctor Doom flees the scene. And Spider-Man heads home too because he's worried about Aunt May. So in the end, the Fantastic Four are the ones who rescue a terrified Flash Thompson, while Peter returns home to Aunt May. And the next day, Flash begins showing off to his classmates by claiming he was the one who fought and defeated Doctor Doom. Even Liz says Peter must be jealous of Flash, which is weird considering she appeared to have a crush on Peter in the last issue. Remember, they were supposed to go on a date in issue number 4. Overall, it was another good issue, although I would have preferred for Spider-Man to be the one to rescue Flash Thompson rather than the Fantastic Four. I think that would have made for a more interesting scene considering Flash is Peter's main bully at school, but Flash is also a big fan of Spider-Man. And as for the villain, Doctor Doom's plan was fairly entertaining, but I must say he isn't exactly the best villain for a Spider-Man story. So I'm going to rate this issue a 7 out of 10. It was good, but not as good as the previous issues. What did you think of the issue? And now that Peter is interested in dating both Liz Allen and Betty Brandt, I want to know who you would rather see Peter date, and who do you actually think he's going to end up with? Let me know in the comments. If you want to hear from me more often, follow the link in the video description to my Twitter, and follow me on there. And if you want to see more comic reviews, then be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.